Welcome back. The arms deal corruption case involving former President Jacob Zuma and the Thales Group will resume at the High Court in Peter Maritzburg tomorrow. The court is expected to deliver judgment in Zuma's recusal application against prosecutor Billy Downer. Last week, Zuma laid criminal charges accusing Downer of leaking his medical records. ENCA's senior reporter Spamand Lokoke joins us now um, for the latest on, in fact, what we can expect tomorrow. Uh, Spamandla, thank you for making time. Uh, let's talk about what we can expect tomorrow. And maybe let's also rejig uh, our memories about the arguments that the former president's legal team made. And, of course, the response from advocate uh, Vim Trengov, who was representing the NPA. Tomorrow we expect Judge Pidkun to hand down the judgment, to deliver the judgment here at the High Court of South Africa sitting in Peter Maritzburg, that is the Wazulu Natal Division. So tomorrow it will be the judgment on former President Jacob Zuma's application to have Billy Downer removed as the state lead prosecutor. The former president, together with his legal team, they have argued before that they don't think that advocate Billy Downer is fit to prosecute this trial. They allege and claim that he is conflicted in the matter. He does not want to see the former president getting a fair trial. So based on that, they say he needs to be removed here because he is a compromised person in terms of what they are arguing. They say he will not be able to try this matter in a manner that will ensure that the former president gets a free trial. During their arguments, basically, they questioned advocate Billy Downer's character and also arguing that he doesn't have what is known as a title to prosecute. Of course, it's something that the NPA and the state have denied, saying, well, he was really appointed to prosecute this matter. He is fit and proper to prosecute the matter. So this will be the first step in ensuring that at least we are getting closer to the trial starting. Of course, it will depend on how Judge Bidkun rules tomorrow, if he rules in favor of the former president to have Billy Downer removed, or whether he will dismiss former President Jacob Zuma's application. We can only find out tomorrow, and we hope that he will outline his reasons tomorrow. He will outline his reasons tomorrow when he delivers that judgment. But in terms of what is expected, we expect that at least there will be attorneys who will come to court to note the judgment. Of course, all parties will have to note and study the judgment after it's been handed down, depending whichever way it goes. But let's take a listen to what Advocate Dalimpo, for representing former President Jacob Zuma, said last time in court when he was arguing and alleging that Advocate Billy Downer is responsible for leaking former President Jacob Zuma's sensitive medical information. Look, my Lord, in the, the, the supplementary affidavit, we show that this kind of conduct continues up <clears throat> to this day. We show, my Lord, that as far back as a few weeks ago, Mr. At least on the version of, 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 the, of Mr. Downer, Mr. Breitenbach, SSC, who is one of the um, people sure. on the side, uh, hired by the NPA, sure, it's okay. uh, leaked documents before they were submitted to, uh, to the court to a journalist. And for the purposes of this, my lord, I won't mention the name of the journalist because of the, uh, just in, in case there, there, there might be uh, repercussions. But it's common cause that on the 9th of um, September, uh, 9th of August, rather, on Women's Day, <clears throat> in the afternoon, a member of the of the uh, prosecuting team gave Mr. Downer's affidavit to a journalist uh, and the, this is worse, 100 times worse than what, whatever was being discussed by Mr. So, which, we, which we, we don't know now, but we just know that some of it had to do with the, with the first accused. Here, what was being leaked was a document that was confidential, con contained the confidential health information of the first accused. That makes the transgression far worse. 
So, Spa, uh, this is what the former president's lawyers were arguing, and then uh, Advocate Trengov came through uh, talking about how you can't really challenge the legal title to prosecute for the NPA as a whole. Uh, remind us of the arguments he made against uh, the points that were made by Advocate Dalimpofu. Well, he says this tactic by former President Jacob Zuma and his legal team, it's one of those things that they have classified as time-delaying tactics because the former president and his legal team, they are not only going for Advocate Billy Downer, but it appears as if they are going for the entire prosecution's team here. They are questioning their credentials, they are questioning their authority, the title to prosecute. Of course, the state lead prosecutor is Advocate Billy Downer. It would assume that everything centers around him. But basically, former President Jacob Zuma and his legal team are questioning the entire prosecution's team here, something that Vem Trengrof, representing Advocate Billy Downer in the state, because Advocate Billy Downer is a direct uh, implicated in this matter, or allegedly by the former president and his legal team, so he couldn't defend himself. They needed to get someone to argue on his behalf. That's when uh, Vem Trengrof came in to argue that, well, all those allegations and arguments, submissions made by former president Jacob Zuma, they do not hold water because what he says can be challenged. And and there is proof and evidence that Billy Downer, according to the state, is fit and proper to try this matter. Let's take a listen to them arguing against what the former president has submitted. As far as my learned friend Mr. <coughs> Pofu is concerned, the, the history of this matter is that the uh, Surgeon General's doctors who treat Mr. Zuma rendered reports on the 30th of August 2021 in which they, the bottom line is that they say that he is not fit to stand trial. The NPA's doctors rendered a report on the 13th of September 2021 to the effect that he is fit to stand trial. Mr. Downer asked um, the, Mr. Zuma's attorney whether the um, Surgeon General's doctors accept the conclusion of the uh, of the NPA doctors. He asked them on the 14th of September. That's in Annexure AA to Mr. Downer's affidavit. And since then, on Saturday, on the 18th of September, he asked them again. They didn't respond to those requests. Instead, yesterday afternoon, we get an affidavit to say. Um, they, and, and let me say, because we haven't had a response, and in the light of your Lordship's ruling, we brought the medical experts down here. They're sitting in court. They came to give evidence, as your order had anticipated, only to get a message by affidavit yesterday afternoon to say, uh, Mr. Zuma is not coming, but we can go on with the application. Well, Spamandla, let's also talk about the former president's first uh, appearance in public. That was last week when he opened criminal charges against advocate Billy Downer. He made some statements there and some people were arguing even these criminal charges he's laying, could that be a preemptive strike, uh, so to speak? What happened last week? The, the statement of the open... All right, you know, we're going to cut that spamandla because we're struggling to hear you. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with your mic, but maybe we can play the bite. Uh, last week, we saw former President Jacob Zuma laying those criminal charges against advocate uh, Billy Downer, saying that um, he leaked confidential information, and that's information about his health. That was his first public appearance. Uh, yes, he addressed his supporters previously, but he did that virtually uh, and wasn't on the scene. So for the first time um, since he was released on parole, he appeared publicly and he, he laid those criminal charges. Um, here's a clip reminding you of what happened last week. Okay. 
Yeah, so the former president was explaining there that he's a prisoner and he's going to have to leave immediately after laying those charges. And then his spokesperson or the spokesperson for his foundation, um, Zonele Mani, then addressed the media about what really is behind the charges that the former president was laying against Billy Downer. Let's move to this story now.